My name is Mark Cabange. I live in Edmonton, Canada, and I'm the founding vice president of the Tamarack Institute, uh, where I worked from 2001 to 2011 running the Vibrant Communities Initiative, and I'm now an associate with Tamarack running my own group called Here to Their Consulting Group. What are some of the key competencies of uh, collective impact backbone organizations? It's an excellent question, and I actually applaud uh, Opportunity Child for beginning to ask those questions because I think we all have to pay attention to it after doing so much experimentation. I would point to three uh, competencies that for sure we need to get better at. The first one is being able to map and understand the systems that underlie the complex things we're trying to address in the first place. All the programmatic interventions that we uh, employ in the world are very useful for helping people beat the odds. Systemic interventions, the things that reshape systems that cause problems in the first place, these help change the odds for people. Uh, lot, we do talk lots about systems thinking, but the basic competencies of describing a system, mapping it out, finding leverage points for change, and evaluating whether or not we move them, that's a core competence. The second competence is uh, the ability to create space for fierce conversations. Uh, there's lots of things in community change that are, are somewhat technical in nature, but it's mostly because we can't get on the same page and we have very different opinions about what the problem is and how to solve it. Fierce conversations where you can have honest arguments and still feel safe is a critical component to it. And in fact, a measure of a sophisticated collective impact group is whether or not they easily have fierce conversations. Creating the space for that is for sure a second competency area that we have to further strengthen. The third one is uh, being able to have structured innovation uh, processes and being able to do structured prototyping, really structured pilot projects that have the possibility of being scaled in lots of different ways. I think we talk that talk quite a bit, but I don't know if we walk the walk.